Hey everyone, so um, yesterday uh, I was, uh, well, last week I was shopping on Craigslist for odd gigs I could do for a few extra bucks. So I'm going to a computer gaming conference and um, I have money for the trip. It would be nice to have a little extra spending money to, to just buy random stuff, uh, especially in Poland. They make a lot of interesting wooden board games, uh, chess sets and um, uh, shogi sets and all that and it would be nice to have some extra pocket money. Um, so I'm still working at Mathnasium, just doing odd gigs, some tutoring and also um, I had gone to um, this uh, there's a um, company that hosts casino night events uh, for businesses and they contract that out and um, they got hired for doing that but I couldn't find the address and I got quite lost looking I knew I would get lost so I left very early and I eventually found it and um, it was only I was I was only making 40 bucks for that but I spent two hours on the highway looking for it um, this is in Bellevue Washington it's a, um, not a very um, easy place to look for an address and, um, and then I get there and then um, as I'm leaving for the night um, I uh, realized I had parked in the wrong place and I was able to talk my way out of paying for the parking but still it, it, it was very annoying to hear that for making 40 bucks I had to pay 24 bucks worth of parking but I explained to them what was going on I talked my way out of it but it was still kind of annoying for a few minutes and I had to deal with it and then obviously at the event itself that um, there were um, some medical issues and it, it came up a little bit it wasn't it, it's it's it, it's a problem I have at all jobs but uh, that's all right now the point I'm trying to make is that there are a lot of perils that can come up when you try to make a few extra bucks so when you do make these deals you you want to you want to do your best not to leave money on the table oh I have a little bit of an issue with negotiating tutoring gigs I get really excited people see that I love what I'm doing and they, they feel that whatever they pay me is just extra money oh it doesn't help that I look so young for my age as well oh, I sometimes have people who think that uh, I'm living with my parents you know actually well um, so I was signing up for health insurance and the agent thought I could stay on my parents plan and that's a big problem for me because um, when people get that kind of feeling oh they, they may not speak it out but they justify in their mind that the, the few bucks they're paying me is extra that I don't have living expenses to pay for. Um, they don't realize that it's, it might only be extra because I'm living in my car. Uh, it's kind of funny how it turns out sometimes. Uh, not too many people know that I live in my car. Uh, uh, so um, I was also negotiating a tutoring job and um, unfortunately um, this one client of mine was referred to by another client of mine who I gave a deep discount to and uh, now they want the same discount and I uh, was very upset at the first uh, family. I, I told them not to disclose the price but I didn't anticipate how persistent some of these people would be in um, prying that information out of people's heads. And um, I might have to give the discount, but I'm really going to have to come hard on them to um, that this is the last time I'm going to give it, and um, hopefully get some concession back from it. Maybe um, you see the first kid I tutored had learning disabilities, and he could only do one hour at a time, which made the low price even more annoying because um, every time I have to go out of my way, you know, that's some time for the traveling and it's some gas money. And then if I'm only making a few bucks, you know, uh, you take that few bucks and um, not only, are, you're, you're not just dividing by an hour anymore, you're dividing more like by two and a half hours when you have the travel time and the preparation time. Plus you have to subtract the, the, the gas money first before you divide by that huge number of hours. Uh, hopefully with this new student I can get a concession to get more hours and um, have a written guarantee that they're not going to uh, disclose the price. Anyways, what I really learned this past week was that there are a lot of perils that come with these negotiations. So when, when you do get something in your favor, make sure you don't um, accidentally give it up, I guess. Thanks for watching.